Right here is the raw footage. Uh, it's important to DaVinci Resolve. Uh, being that this was just a test, I didn't do any real lighting on the green screen, so the key on that didn't come out the best. Uh, this green screen we see right here, that's actually tacked to the wall of the room. Uh, I wasn't about to take it down and unstaple it just to get the true color of the room. I just added that later in, into, in uh, Blender. And right here, these are two curtains or green screens that I got uh, clamped. There's a top bar right here that you can't see within the image. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of the footage in action. The window you see right there obviously is a true window. That's that. Here it is with the key, green screen key done. Just nice, got a little bit of the shadow and everything moving from there. <clears throat> I don't know how well I translated that over into Blender, but being that this was just a test to see if I can get it done. Here's the footage imported into Blender. Uh, we just got the green screen screen right here. Uh, next I did was added a wall to the right hand side. Add that right into there. Uh, after that it was the curtains. So we'll do the left curtain and the right curtain. If you search online how to make uh, curtains and blender, uh, that's exactly what I did on that since this is fairly new to me. Uh, in order to get the curtains to open up when I stood up on there, I got these two tortoises. Uh, they were just tortoises and I ended up chopping them in half and extended the sides out on there. And then I just had those coming sliding down. This is going to be really slow. Sorry about the lag on this. And just have them. <clears throat> the curtain is set up as a standard curtain simulation. Over here with the cloth simulation. And then these tortoises are uh, set up as collisions. And then. They just open up, keyframe them, uh, also added in here the monster which was some sort of download, I don't remember where I got that from, uh, got him back there right now, uh, when he comes up out of there, Come on. When he comes up out of there, uh, since that was all green screened and the window, I didn't do anything with the uh, window, fake window drapes on there, which I'll show you. Get that out of there, get this out of there. Uh, it was all black. You know, it would be black since it was uh, all green screen and keyed out of there. So I ended up adding just a fake image that I downloaded online to try to emulate a little bit of a scene in the background. As you can see right there. Uh, so what I should have done is when I originally filmed it is uh, <clears throat> had the window drapes, the original window drapes that are in the room, which are a very similar color to this. Uh, I should have opened them up and got a, uh, just a still image or something of the background of a view out of the window. Kind of forgot about that, but... Uh, that's pretty much all, all it was. Everything was imported in here as planes. See, I got stuff staggered around a little bit. Uh, did have an issue with doing a poor uh, keying job. As you can see down here on the keyboard, these lighter colors, which is actually, it ended up getting keyed out. If I take the wall out of here, you can see that it disappeared. So is what I did is I just added a couple planes. The same thing happened as you can see right here. That's supposed to be the face of the tablet. So I added in a couple of blank planes. And look at that, did a poor job of a line on it. Uh, get another one here. And then added in a blank plane there to try to neaten it up a little bit. Try to fix some mistakes. But that was just about it. Just a little test. I want to see if we can play with some curtains and uh, have a human interact with it and then also have a CGI, CGI character interact with it.
as you can see this was just slapped together this is extremely sloppy uh, it was just a little bit of a test wanted to see if uh, I could actually pull this off and figured I would share the results and how I went about it hope somebody found this useful and uh, take care of yourselves bye bye